Well, Sophia Arvidsson continued her amazing strike rate when she guided Florence Sito, trained by Blake Fitzpatrick, to victory at Clubman Angle on Tuesday afternoon. I also caught up with Sevilla to talk about her chances on Saturday night at Clubman Angle, plus an interesting twist in her training routine. Well, Sophia, you kept up this amazing winning strike rate since you headed north to join up with Blake, driving Florence Sito to victory. It was a very nice win too. Yeah, it was. I was uh, quite surprised. Um, she's a really nice filly. Um, I didn't actually know that was her maiden win, so that made it a bit more exciting. But uh, I was, yeah, I'm happy to have gotten the steer on that. That's Lisa's horse, so she'll be happy. Over to the uh, first event at Club in England on Saturday night. Number three, I'm a sports star for David Thorne. Very consistent. Yeah, he's been very good. His runs have actually been real good. We just haven't had a lot of luck. We didn't have a lot of luck. The race probably didn't pan out the way we wanted to on Saturday night. Uh, but hopefully he'll get one. Uh, he just needs a bit of luck. <laughs> yeah, from that good draw, you were looking for a nice cover for him and then produce him late? Yeah, yeah, he's quite, he's quite a fast horse. He's got a quick sprint on him. Um, so, he, yeah, he just needs to end up in a position where he can win. Over to the second, the consistent La Putty, drawn in the middle of the line. You've won twice with this particular performer. Greg Sugar's had the drive last week and a little bit unlucky when second behind where you've been bopping. Yeah, he's been very consistent, this horse. He's uh, been going super since he's been up here. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he does. We're quite wide, so um, I haven't really had a look at it yet to see what we will do, but hopefully he'll run good again. Well, he takes the range behind. Wow, well, he's a rock star in the fourth. Past two runs have been a little bit below his usual consistent performance, but he is capable of better. Yeah, he's a very quick horse too. Um, He's a bit tricky. <laughs> he was showing a few of his tricks on Saturday night. Um, he can, uh, yeah, he has a, a mind of his own. So, um, but hopefully he'll um, go good again this week. He has been going good uh, a few times lately. Over to race seven, nine, Pearl Harbour. She's drawn the outside gate, but what a consistent mare she is. Scored eight starts back and seven consecutive solid placings. <laughs> yeah, I actually... Uh, it looked like she was going to run fourth on Saturday. Well, surely not. Surely that's not true because <laughs> she always runs a place that mess. <laughs> will you be using a good gate speed from out wide? Oh, I think I will see what we do. Um, possibly not. With luck in running, should she be breaking back into the winner's circle? I think she can. I think she's uh, been going well enough too. Uh, we might just drive a bit differently and uh, she's she's quite fast, so we might just drive her more for a speed. The best of them, Sophia? That's a tough question. I haven't looked that close to the, at the fields yet. Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you off the hook there. I'll get it on Saturday night. You must be amazed and delighted with the performances you've been able to produce since coming up here, linking up with Blake, uh, winner after winner. Yeah, I actually can't believe it. I didn't think um, I would be getting as many drives as I have. Uh, Blake and Lisa have given me a really good go and uh, I really appreciate it. Um, the horses seem to be running well for me. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I actually can't believe how many winners I've had since being here. <laughs> yeah, it's in the vicinity of 15. And also, Sophia, as you mentioned, when you arrived here to drive for Blake, you're hoping to enhance your reputation so you could pick up other drives, which you are doing. Yeah, slowly. It's, uh, it's always hard to come somewhere new where people have their dr set drivers. Um, but if I keep um, driving well and driving winners, I'm sure I'll get more opportunities. Now, Blake's harness racing business is firing on all cylinders. The thoroughbreds are not going so well, but he's going to change that around because he's got a new track rider at home, we must point out, none other than yourself. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've really been enjoying uh, riding the gallopers. I had my first fall today, actually. <laughs> Tasted a bit of gravel. Uh, that's what you get for getting up on two-year-olds, but <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy riding them. It's, it's something different. It's uh, You get a different sort of rush. You don't really get that rush from doing track work with the trotters anymore. Um, so it's just a bit of adrenaline and you feel like you're flying when you go fast around the little track. <laughs> well, we know if Blake's horses start to perform well at the Gallops, we know the reason why. Congratulations on the form. Thanks for joining us and hopefully there'll be plenty more winners coming your way. Uh, thanks, Mick. <laughs>